Aloha everyone! I'm Gabby and I'm Georgie and we are the mummies of Sisterhood Furniture and content creators for Dixie Belle Paint. In this tutorial we said let's experiment. Uh, we love pool painting but never tried it before so we said it's the time. We will be using chalk mineral paint from Dixie Belle and a variety of different products from them. We also had a lot of struggles and we made mistakes, but um, we try to repair them and also learn from them. So stay with us to see how we did it. I started by cleaning this cutie with white lightening Dixie Belle furniture cleaner, our crucial step of the process. Always clean your pieces prior to painting, always. I rubbed well to get rid of any dirt and then I rinsed twice with water to get rid of the solution. I let it dry for a few hours and then I applied two coats of slick stick as this item is quite a shiny surface so this will help the paint to stick properly to the piece. We let it dry for about 24 hours and then it was ready to paint. Using sea spray, we prepared three different texture paints. First, I prepared the blues, pure ocean, and then the other is peacock. We added sea spray little by little until we got a heavy texture. We started to apply the texture using a chip brush these brushes are for rough events like this one here and just dab the texture. We have added the black texture only on the sides, leaving the middle area for the blue textures. We let it dry for about 3-4 hours, longer than usual, to make sure the texture gets dried out completely. After it dried, we painted the whole piece with black paint and covering also the blue texture. Let the fun begin! In each shot we added two spoons of paint and diluted with water. We didn't really know the right quantity but we just went ahead and see what happens at that point. 
then we use the purple and the red shots we added the colors on top of each other in various patterns and it was ready for pouring We poured the first glass in different directions and then we used the blow dryer to spread the colors but guess what, they didn't move too much as the, some of the paints were too thick. Next time we will definitely dilute more the paints, this way we'll be able to spread them with a hair dryer. Anyway, we were completely lost at that point but we look around and pick up the sticks we mix the paint with and we said let's just rug out that lots of paint and see how it will turn out. We are actually so glad that the plan didn't work out and we just carried on experimenting. We love how it turned out so, so much. We poured the second cup from the middle to the bottom and we tried again the blow dryer, but it worked here in this case, as these paints were a bit more diluted and mixed up well. And then we carry on um, with our sticks to match the um, whole pattern. We let it dry and then I started to sand um, the areas I have the blue texture underneath to reveal some of the blue spots. I also sanded really well over the colors as there was quite still too much paint in some spots and it kind of cracked. So we sanded it down with an 80 grit and then with a 220 grit to smooth it out. On the drawer side we used a stencil called 3P Blocks and I just place it on the drawer, hold it with my hands and I start dabbing caviar with a sponge. And I used the stencil only on the half of the drawer side and then I faded it away. When you get to the middle, make sure the sponge is almost out of paint and then just dab the leftover to look uh, kinda fade out, diffuse the paint instead of having a bold finish line. It looks really really gorgeous this way. I sealed the whole piece using clear wax. We applied it with lepetit brush using circular motions to get that wax into the texture really, really well. And after 15 minutes, I buffed off the excess with a piece of cloth. It's so annoying when you seal the piece and then you have another idea, so you have to seal it again. I felt like the blue texture showing through underneath um, isn't enough, so I had this idea of splattering uh, white paint around the colorful fade pouring and it's a gorgeous touch. I revived the wood and sealed that pattern with Best Mama's Butter in Orange Groove, which is our favorite wax on planet Earth. It smells delicious. And this is the final result. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to our channel if you like this tutorial or it inspired you in any way. See you next time. Bye!